So John, how does the vSphere lifecycle manager actually work with vSAN? Is that any uh, different than a vSphere cluster? So there's actually a couple points where it, it taps in. So there's some components on vSAN that we're, we're kind of picky about on firmware um, and driver versions. And that's that's these controllers, uh, the drive controllers, the HBA controllers. And so we're actually going to um, recommend not necessarily just the newest, but we're gonna, we want to have a specific driver firmware combo. So VLCM is going to help us identify that. Um, and using those builds that we get from the providers, uh, we can use to deliver that. So we'll, we'll help validate that. The other thing is vSAN does have its own build recommendation engine that we can work with VLCM on. And so from even within vSAN Health, we can identify um, not only, okay, I have you know an R630, what's the newest vSphere release? But I'm also running vSAN with this controller. What's the newest vSAN release I can get to? Um, in case there's a situation of we're still waiting on validation for those components. So we can identify what's what's the newest state we need to get to. Okay, so then it sounds like then, so in the case of things like storage controllers, this is not something that the customer has to try to figure out versions. VLCM is, is going to handle that for the customer? Yeah, it's going right? to make those recommendations in terms of that. Okay, well, that sounds like a win. <laughs> 